said already. So what I want to do is give you one of our short African folk tales that I've kind of adapted it. All right, once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived in East Texas. Now, now, we don't know what happened to his mama or his daddy, but one day he ended up on the doorstep of this kind family. Now, this kind family, everyone in the family had so many wonderful talents. Oh, the mother, she could build things. The father could cook. The, the brother could weave beautiful cloth. And the sister, she just did everything. But then that was his little boy. He had no talent whatsoever. When he tried to cook, have you ever boiled an egg and found the egg exploded on the ceiling? Then when he tried to sew, mm, like his newly adopted sister, he had prickles all on his hands. And Lord, when he tried to build something like his mama, let's just say, whenever a piece of wood sees him, it gets up and run. It was hard. But one day, there was an older lady in the community called Granny G. And Granny G was turning 100. See, Granny G was the midwife. And she had, oh, I mean, she had just delivered everybody, even this little boy who we never knew where he came from. Well, everybody was trying to do something special for her. The, 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 the father wove some beautiful cloth. The mother built a beautiful throne. Everybody cooked. They had everything perfect except for this little boy. He didn't know what to do, so he went to Granny G and he said, Granny G, I, I, I don't know what to do for you. I just can't think of anything. Granny G said, I want you to go to the river, take this jar, and scoop it up. Now, back in the day, now, 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 you know, back in the day when we grew up, when an elder person told you what to do, what did you do? Yeah. You did it. You didn't say that didn't make any sense. Well, he, she went to the river, he went to the river, and all of a sudden, lights started dancing all on the river. It was beautiful. And, and, and he heard this song. And the song said, hold out your hands, child. Open up your hearts, child. Watch the sparkling lights as they dance across the waters. Hmm, singing water. So he picked it up, but when he put the water in the jar, all of the lights were gone. Well, it was time to present the gifts to Granny G. And she was sitting on a beautiful throne with her beautiful clothes, eating all the beautiful food. And I forgot to tell you, Granny G had lost her sight. But because she had delivered all the children, all you had to do was walk up and say one thing. She automatically knew who you were. Or she could just touch you. Oh, I know who that is. Well, it was time when she's up on the throne and just getting all her gifts. She got all her gifts. So then the little boy, he takes the gift of the water, the grain of G, and he puts it down. Now, I forgot to tell you he was clumsy too. So as he went up the steps, he dropped the jar. And the water went all over the place, and the water started singing. I want y'all to repeat after me. Hold out your hands, child. Hold out your hands, child. Open up your hearts, child. Open up your hearts, child. Watch the sparkling lights. Watch the sparkling lights. As they dance across the water. As they dance across the water. All of a sudden, the lights came out and Granny G said, oh, get those lights out of my eyes. It's so bright. Remember, she was blind. But now she could see it. Turned out the little boy had healing hands. And he grew up to just be a midwife, mid-husband, whatever you call a man. <laughs> and he healed everybody. So what did this story have to do with Ron Cookston? Ron Cookston, you have healing hands. You have healed the community by just outreaching. You have healed the community by bringing all of us together, making these collaborations, these partnerships. You have healed the community. You have healed the community. You are healing the community. And you will to heal the community. So we say we thank you for your healing hands as you open up your heart. And we're going to watch the lights continue to dance across the waters because Ron Cookston, you something else. Thank <laughs> you.